Ready? Go. Yeah. We're going to do less than 90 systems of three equations. We have three equations with three unknowns, and we have to find x, y, and z. Whatever we find for x, y, and z will make all of these true. This is very similar to when we did solving two equations with two unknowns. What we're going to do is we're going to take two equations, eliminate a variable, and then take two other equations and eliminate the same variable. This first one's really easy. We're going to add a plus b together, and we're going to get x plus 2y. I'm just going to put all the steps down. 2x minus y minus z equals 0. I just recopied a and b, and I'm just going to add them together. So we get 3x plus y equals 4. We'll call this one A, B, C. We'll call this uh, A, B, C, D, E. We'll call this E. Now we're going to add B plus C together. So we're going to get 2X minus Y minus Z equals 0. The reason I'm doing B and C is if I add these two together, this should actually be a plus. If I add these two together, I'm going to eliminate the Z again. So we added these two together, eliminated the z, and we're going to add these two together and eliminate the z. So we get 2x minus 2y plus z equals 0. We add them together, we get 4x minus 3y equals 0. Now we'll call this one f. Now we have two equations with two unknowns, and this is exactly what you've done before. We're just going to take one equation, we'll take this equation times 3 and add it to this one. So we're going to take 3 times e plus f will eliminate the y's. So let's do that. We're going to get 9x plus 3y equals 12. So I just took 3 times these and I'm going to add it to f. So we get 4x minus 3y equals 0. We add them together and we get... 13x equals, and I think this should have been a 1 right here. This should have been a 1. I didn't copy it correctly. Equals 13, and we get x equals 1. Once you get that, we're going to just do some back substitution. We're going to put it back up into e or f in order to get y. So let's just put it back into e. So we get 3 times 1 plus y equals 4. Subtract 3 from both sides, and we get y equals 1. Now we have x equals 1, y equals 1, and we're going to go back up here and find z. So where we see the x and the y, we're going to put a 1. So we're going to get 1 plus 2 plus z equals 4, and that will give us 3, and we get z equals 1. So our ordered triplet is just 1, 1, 1. And if we were to put them in for x, y, and z, it would be 1, plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and it will work for all three equations. So let's try another one. This would be example. Okay, example 2. Three equations, three unknowns. 2x minus y plus 3z equals 9. x plus 2y plus z equals 8. And x minus 2y plus z equals 0. Now you can make a choice which variable you want to eliminate. You can eliminate the x's. We could do that by taking this one by minus 2 and adding it with this one. This one, by minus, this one just by minus 1 and adding them together. You could eliminate the x's. You could eliminate the y's or the z's. It's your choice. Everyone can do this differently, and it should still work out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the y's because right here I can see that if I just added b and c together without multiplying anything, I would eliminate the y's. So that's the easiest thing to do. So I'm going to take a by 2 and add it to b. So here we go. 4x minus 2y plus 6z equals 18. And you can just add it right to b then. x plus 2y plus z, I need a new marker, equals 8. Now I can just add these two together and we're going to get 5x plus 7z equals 26. Now I'm going to take b and c, and I can just add them together because the y's are already the opposite and they'll add out. So you get x plus 2y plus z equals 8. 
x minus 2y plus z equals 0. Add those together, we get 2x plus 2z equals 8. We'll call this one um, d, and we'll call this one e. Now we have two equations with two variables. We need to eliminate one of the variables. These, this one's a little bit more difficult because we're going to have to multiply this one by something and this one by something and add them together. I'm going to eliminate the x's, so I'm going to have to make both of these 10. So I'm going to take this one times 2 and this one times minus 5, and that way I'll be able to eliminate the x's. So we get 10x plus 14z equals 52. And this one by minus 5, we're going to get minus 10x minus 10z equals minus 40. And that will give us 4z equals 12x, or z is going to equal 3. Now we're just going to start back substituting. We're going to put it into this equation. So we get 2x plus 6 equals 8, 2x equals 2, and x equals 1. And then finally, we can go way back up at the top, put 3 in for z, 1 in for x, and find out what y is. So we're going to get, hmm, let's see, 2 times 1 minus y plus 3 times 3, which is 9, equals 9. We get minus y equals minus 2, and we get y equals 2. So our ordered triplet would be 1, 2, and 3. And that's all there is to lesson 90. Hey.